In tears and anxious, survivors of the Srebrenica genocide await the appeal judgment of Serb General Ratko Mladic at the site where more than 8,000 boys and men were slaughtered in 1995. The 78-year-old is appealing his conviction for genocide and war crimes. At the International Criminal Tribunal, for the former Yugoslavia in The Hague, in the Netherlands. Among the genocide survivors is Adel Shabanovic. 22 members of his family were executed by Serb forces under the command of Ratko Mladic. Their bodies were dumped in different mass graves. He's overjoyed when the court rejects the Butcher of Bosnia's appeal, meaning Mladic will die in jail. A stone has been lifted off my chest, convicted for genocide, just like the conviction of Radovan Karadzic. My message to those denying the genocide is to stop denying, provoking and adding salt on our open wounds if they want some type of coexistence. The International Criminal Tribunal for former Yugoslavia has confirmed the verdict on counts of genocide for General Ratko Mladic. Some of his victims were laid to rest, while others are still being discovered in mass graves. For some, justice may have been served, but for Hassan Hasanovic, who lost his father and twin brother, it is not enough. The decisions for genocide to be committed here were decided by top officials, both politically and militarily, and Belgrade has a lot to do with it. Today, it has to be the same. They have to make a decision to accept the genocide so we can deal with the past and build better neighboring ties. Despite multiple verdicts and convictions by the International Criminal Court for former Yugoslavia, some in Serbia and many politicians refuse to acknowledge and continue to deny the Srebrenica genocide. Semir Sejfovic, TRT World, Srebrenica, Bosnia.